The Middle East, a region of the world filled with complex cultures and beliefs, and for thousands of years, the center of conflicts touching the rest of the world. This same region has also been God's stage for amazing events that have helped shape civilization and bewildered mankind as we struggle to understand and interpret biblical miracles. Skeptics claim that the Bible is merely a book filled with fables and folklore, while others believe it to be a detailed map of discovery, not only for the soul, but to archaeological evidence crying out to be revealed. Well, I met a man named Jim Irwin who was the eighth man to walk on the moon. He was a piece of history. When he came back from the moon, he wanted to do something different with his life. He felt that he had a calling, a calling by God, to go look for lost locations in the Bible. He was involved heavily with looking for Noah's Ark at the time. Meet Bob Cornuke, a former crime scene investigator and member of an elite SWAT team unit. Now a biblical investigator, international explorer, and author of numerous books, Bob has participated in over 25 expeditions searching for lost locations described in the Bible. And we're here primarily to see if any of the eyewitness accounts throughout history have any merit. There's a lot of people that say that Noah's Ark is in this very canyon. It's Recruited by Apollo 15 astronaut Jim Irwin to serve as his personal security advisor on an expedition in search of Noah's Ark in terrorist-held eastern Turkey, the two formed a bond and became close friends. Several years after Irwin's death, Kornuk founded Base Institute to expand on the mission of his mentor and friend. Bob's expeditions in search of the Ark of the Covenant, Paul's shipwreck, and Noah's Ark have yielded significant archaeological finds directly supporting scriptural accounts of these events and garnered international media exposure. Tracing the footsteps of some of the Bible's most recognizable figures has led Bob straight into some of the most inhospitable places for Westerners anywhere on the planet held prisoner no less than five times and facing death on several occasions, Bob continues his quest for one unavoidable reason. The truth is out there, and that truth can be found, but only if you're willing to look. <laughs> 